The Real Estate Photography Podcast is brought to you by TourBuzz.net, high-definition virtual tour and photograph hosting. Now, with interactive floor plans. Sign up for your free trial today. Hello and welcome to the Real Estate Photography Podcast with Mike Mariello. Today we're going to be talking a little bit about post-production um, and specifically we're going to talk about LR Infuse and uh, Photomedics 4 and the difference between the two. Um, and this might be a review for some people who already know both of these programs and to others you might not have known about one or the other. So um, I just want to do a quick overview of the difference between these. I know we talked about Photomatics. Uh, way back when, uh, and since then, Photomax has been updated, and specifically, the exposure fusion um, options have been really, really dramatic in a good way. So, um, basically, what we're talking about is our typical sort of um, approach, which is bracket off seven shots, and then you go ahead and, and fuse them together. But our two options that we're talking about today, one of which is called LR Infuse, and you can go to the website. I'll put the link at the on the podcast site, LR Infuse is a very, very simple script that um, it just it does your work for you. I would highly recommend LR Infuse um, to anyone who's shooting a great deal of volume on any given day, maybe six, seven, eight shoots a day, um, and you are doing exposure fusion. This is a very efficient way to do it. Now, I said it's a simple script, meaning it's not it's not um, it's not complicated in the sense that you get many different options to choose from when you're making adjustments. So we have configuration, auto align, infuse, and output. You basically can tell what you want to call it. This screen right here, the one where it says infuse, this is where you make your changes. So with these settings, it creates something like this. And the same thing with a, a kitchen shot, it creates something like this. It's a very neutral very very neutral um, uh, product that is created through LR Infuse. I like it. I think it's fine. I think it's a good starting point, as I will always say with Exposure Fusion. Um, but it is a very neutral starting starting spot. So our other option is to go ahead and I'll mock do this. I've already done it, as you can see. We can also export to Photomatix Pro. Okay. So let's go ahead and pretend that I've just exported it to Photomatics. And we're looking at, and actually what it comes in as, is a tone mapped image. And what we want to do to it is we want to make sure it knows we want to deal with exposure fusion. Because we don't want it to be a very surreal image. We, that's not the goal here. But the, the cool thing I wanted to talk about with Photomatics is you can already, sorry, you can already see the the large number of options that you have when it comes to fine-tuning this sort of an image and I'm gonna quickly go back you can already see a little bit of a difference and I said before this was this is a very neutral um, very very light on the tones sort of product LR infuse when I come over here you can already see it's a little bit more punchy um, and that's just the default. So you can go ahead and change all these different settings, and I think we've done that in the past. But the difference between LR and F or Photomatix 3 and Photomatix 4 is all these nice presets. And you can make your own, of course. But for example, we can go ahead and say, I want to do Fusion Default, and it's refreshing. And this is something a little bit different. So if we were to go back to what we were just doing, it's thinking that's a little bit more of what we were just looking at. You can already see there's a difference. These right here are a little wild for real estate photography in my opinion, but um, another good one is Fusion Auto and that is again, uh, something about it is a very neutral starting point. Um, I like Photomatix. I really like it. Um, I like the presets that they've put in here, and it gives you a nice variety to work with. So we'll just jump back into what LR Infuse gives you, and then what Photomatix can give you. And it's the same principles for the kitchen shot. So this is our our default sort of um, picture that, in the the way it, it uh, processes it. Let me go over to 
Oh, I'm sorry. That was actually on Fusion Auto. I can see the gray box around it. And apparently when I click on it, it does both images. But this is our enhancer default. And you can already tell. Let's go over here real quick. It's this um, in tone mapping. Sorry about that. There we go. See, tone mapping, again, it's going to give you that HDR um, surreal tone, uh, tonal quality to your images. Not 100% sure that's good for real estate photography. It's your, your call, but I wouldn't recommend it. That's why we really want to stick with fusing the exposures as opposed to mapping them. So there's our LR and Fuse, very bland, neutral product. And then this one has a little bit more punch on the bamboo and the cabinets. And I'm not a fan of that uh, look, but the good thing is there are so many other ones, which is what I liked about the Fusion Auto. It's it's a very and and for my tastes, it's light. It's very bright. Um, you know, it's it's weighted a little. It's very center weighted, as you can see from the histogram. But to me, the the lights are really standing out here. And if we wanted to compare, this is what we would get. The only thing you got to be careful of with some of these presets are the it's the color of the wall or the color of white versus. Um, you know, cream versus off-white, you know, all these different colors, you can make them um, astronomically different by accident by doing something like using photomatics or LR and Fuse. So it's, it's really important to be careful when it comes to that. So you have to remember what color was it. Because if we jump back over here to our enhancer default, which is what it's thinking about doing right now, you can see the colors are are much different, and obviously we have all this this you know the the lights the color the colors from the lights are bleeding onto the cabinets, and it it's not a very pretty image. And be beware, there are those people out there that will do that. And if we jump over here, it sort of fixes that, but make sure that it's the the right color, um, the whole room that you're actually doing some post-production is the right color and not to fake it because people will come into the house when they are thinking about buying it they might be disappointed or you know you name it don't want to mislead anybody so that's a quick overview of the difference between LR and Fuse and Photomatics and I'll put the links into the uh, the blog all right well thanks for watching and have a good one